Hello everybody and welcome back to Stinkin Sports. I'm your host Nicholas Stinkin. Today I'm going to have a very short video coming out about tonight's showdown for the college football championship between the Alabama Crimson Tide who are coming into this game are 12-0 versus the 7-0 Ohio State Buckeyes. The number one seed in the BCS Alabama versus the number three seed in the BCS Ohio State. Now let me just start off by thinking by saying who I think is going to win this game. I think it's going to be Alabama. No question. I think they are just the more complete team. Uh, I think um, that they just are a better, more physical team offensively and defensively. Mac Jones has been a fantastic quarterback for the Clemson Tide. He has protected the ball fantastically and has made smart reads all year, throwing for 77% uh, completion percentage and only tossing four interceptions as compared to 36 touchdown passes. Um, you have Nah Najee Harris, who's an absolute beast of a running back. I mean, you gotta love, you gotta love him. He won the nation's best running back award, um, and he's just an absolute powerhouse. And it's so he's so hard to bring down. He's no Derrick Henry, but he's an absolute beast. I also am a big fan, of course, of the best wide receiver in the country and one of the top five players in the upcoming NFL draft, Devontae Smith, the Heisman winner, already tying the record, likely to break tonight, of the most receiving touchdowns by an SEC wide receiver. He has 20 on the year. He is the first wide receiver to win the Heisman since Desmond Howard did it at Michigan. I mean, this guy is an absolute monster, a fantastic route runner, has fantastic hands. I mean, he's an absolute beast, a complete, complete player. He has getting away from a cop speed. He's a monster. Then you look on the defensive side, and you have the best cornerback in the league with Patrick Sertain. I mean, he's going to lock up his entire side of the field. So that takes away about one target for Justin Fields. That guy has not had one penalty called on him all year. I mean, he has been balling out for the Crimson Tide, likely to be a top six pick uh, in that range. I'm a big fan of Patrick Sertain. If I'm the Washington football team who I'm a fan of, I am taking him or Devontae Smith because they are our two biggest needs. Unfortunately, we're going to be in the 15 to 16 range, which really stinks, but it is what it is. You do with what you do. You know, I'm happy we made the playoffs, so you, you know it is what it is. Uh, but alas, you look at Ohio State, though. They have Trey Sermon at running back, who's an absolute beast. I think he could cause some trouble for the Alabama front seven, which is not as strong as we've seen in years prior, but still an absolutely beastly front seven. I mean, loaded with first-round picks, as per usual. I mean, they're just so well-coached, and they're so physical in the trenches. And them and the offensive lineman and the defensive line are just so physical in the trenches. You also have Justin Fields who had an absolutely career game at Clemson. If he wants to have any chance of winning tonight, he has to reminisce that game. I mean, he, he's going to have to, you know, he's going to make smart reads. He's going to have to capitalize on blown coverages. He's going to have to take some shots too. You're not going to beat this Alabama team with six-yard passes and little swing patterns. They're too strong for that. They're too smart for that. You're going to have to take some shots like you did against Clemson, and that'll that's going to be how you're going to beat the Alabama Crimson Tide. No team has done it this year. And Ohio State's a very strong team. They're very difficult to guard offensively. I mean, they run a lot of short plays with a lot of speedy players. I mean, the wide receivers are all, all extremely fast. Um, and it's just going to be a difficult game, though, for them to score points. They're going to have to take some shots, and they're going to have to force some turnovers defensively as yes, their defense played fantastic against Clemson. But they're going to have to force some turnovers like they did against them, and they're going to have to capitalize on three and outs. And uh, they're going to have to score six points in the red zone every time. They can't keep coming away with field goal after field goal after field goal. You're going to need to score six points in the red zone consistently because you're not going to beat Alabama with consistent three-point field goals because Alabama will score six and it will become a blowout early. All in all, though, I think Ohio State and Alabama is going to be a great game. I do think Alabama is going to win. If I had to give you a score, I'd say something along the lines of, I'd say, 34 to 20, something like that. They're going to be entertaining until the latter half of the second half. Uh, and Alabama will finally break away. So that is what I have for you today. If you did like the video, please consider liking and subscribing. Once again, Alabama, 34 to 20. I do like them. I like them covering the spread. I think they're just going to be too physical and far too many weapons offensively and defensively for Alabama, for Ohio State to keep up with. Also, I just think Sam is a better coach. Forgot to mention that. However, that is all I have for you today. If you did like the video, please consider liking and subscribing. It does help the channel out. Uh, ring the notification bell. Drop some comments uh, below, and I'm out. Peace.